All right, I'm gonna start on a little parachute Adams. I had seen several fish rising towards the edge. After casting out, I'm letting the fly sit on the top of the water for several seconds. And then I try and skate the Adams fly. This method produced fish for me all day. Whoop, got him. Ooh, what do we got? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a bluegill. All right. Everybody. All right. That's ready to start the day. Decent bluegill on the fly. Thanks, bud. As a floatant for this fly, I had initially dressed the fly and the end of the tippet with some gink. When the fly started to become soggy, I used my leather pad and a little bit of desiccant in order to dry it up. Got him. Little guy. Thank you very much, little guy. To make the fly skate across the water, I'm slowly stripping the line and then stopping. Usually on the pause is when the bluegill are hitting. Got him. There we go. Ooh, good one. Yeah, come on, buddy. You going under a log or something? Oh, he got off. Got him. All right. So I'm hanging out in the shade for a while. Come in, buddy. Nothing but nice ones today. Sweet. Yum. I'd like to drop an anchor too. I like this spot. Ooh, it's a nice size. Nice size one. Really nice. Got him in the net. Check that out. That's a nice fish. Come up around this little bend here. Start seeing a lot of stuff rising. Very nice. Thank you. Hey, I got a fish. <laughs> Just reeling it in, I got a fish. Come here, buddy. Thank you. All right. Hope you like that. <laughs>
Got him. Oh, I think I'm in a hot spot right now. This feels like another good one. Dude. Got him. My leader is a lot longer than normal right now because I, uh, I had switched over to a trout setup. I think that seems to be helping me right now. All right, thank you very much, dude.